Hello, I'm Jack from jackstransmissions.com. Thank you for joining us today. We're glad to have you with us. Today we're going to talk about 2G transfer cases and the 2G all-wheel drive tranny. Uh, throughout the years, basically from 95 to 96 and then from 97 to 99, they had two different gear ratios. And basically you had a different gear ratio in the transfer case and a different gear ratio in the tranny from 95 to 96 and then 97 to 99. If you mix these two up, you'll put the, the viscous coupler into quite a bit of load in the tranny and eventually you can burn it up. Uh, the viscous coupler is basically the limited slip for your center differential and if your front and rear wheels are a different gear ratio, it's going to have to work very hard and since it is a viscous coupling, it does not like to work hard for extended periods of time or it will burn up. Uh, so, you know, that's a problem. And also the center differential itself, which we're talking about spider gears, thrust washers, Things like that can wear down over time too if it has to work hard for extended periods. So what we're going to do here is we're going to show you the difference between these two, um, the, the two different gear ratios, and simple ways to check it without having to take your transfer case or your tranny apart to verify that you have the right ratio. Now uh, to check the transfer case is very simple. What we do is we take a whiteout marker and we mark the coupler of the transfer case and something that's going to stay in one spot, like the seal right here, uh, we'll mark that too so they're lined together. And on the output side, we're going to mark the output shaft and the seal as well. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to turn the coupler a number of revolutions until the output shaft lines back up you know, to our marks that we have here. And depending on the number of revolutions will tell us what gear ratio we have in this transfer case if we have an early or a late ratio. Uh, now on the board here we have uh, for the transfer case we have a total of 12 turns. If we have 12 turns on the coupler and we line these back up we have an early transfer case. If it takes a total of 14 turns we have a late transfer case. So I'm going to take an old output shaft here and I'm going to go ahead and turn the coupler 12, 12 revolutions first to see if it lines back up at the output side. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, nope, oh, almost went over. So we got 12 revolutions here. I'm going to check on the output shaft side here and we see that they're now lined up. So we don't have an early T case. I'm going to go ahead and turn it another two revolutions to make it a total of 14. One, two, and see if we line back up. And we do, so we have a late transfer case. So we know now this transfer case is a late unit. Now we need to check to make sure that our tranny also has the late gear ratio to match this transfer case. Now this is also very simple. All we do is mark, with the whiteout marker again, the T-case output shaft on this tranny and the seal. And on the front differential side here, we'll mark with a whiteout marker the front diff and the seal. Now, the way this is going to work is you're going to put the tranny in gear, and we're going to turn the input shaft to turn the front differential. And now what we want to do is we want to turn the front differential a total of five full revolutions. Basically we're going to turn five times until the marks line back up over here. If the marks line up on the output shaft of the tranny, we have a late tranny. If they do not line up after full revolu five full revolutions of the front differential, we have an early tranny. So it's very simple. And what we're doing is basically we're checking the, out the front diff front ring gear in the tranny to see how many teeth it has by doing this test. If we have a 57 tooth front differential ring gear, we have a, a late gear ratio. If it's a 58 tooth outer ring gear, we have an early differential. And this is the easiest way we found uh, to check this without having to tear the unit completely apart and count the number of teeth you have on your front diff. So we're going to go ahead and turn this and see what we have. It's, I have a 7 fifth gear right now, so we have the most number of revolutions on the front diff that we can get away with here to save time. Um, it's one, two, 
three, four. And the fifth one, I'm going to make sure we line it up real close. That's perfect. So we have the white out marks lined up after five revolutions here. Now we're going to just pull our disc out and check our output shafts. We can see right here, they line up absolutely perfectly, which means that we have a late tranny. So we have a matching set here of late transfer case, which took 14 revolutions to line up here. And we have a late tranny that took five full revolutions in the front diff to match the output shaft here. And that's, that's it for that.